Hello, this video is going to show you how to install and configure Launch and Capture. In the description below you'll be able to find a link to the website that you can download it from. Go to the website and download the executable. I've already done a few downloads in advance to save me some time. Once the download is done, do not open it. We need to move this download into a brand new folder of its own. So visit your downloads folder. Then open up another window with another area of your computer where you can save some files. In this case I'm picking one of my other hard drives and I'm going to make a brand new folder here called My Captures. In this folder both the program and all the recordings are going to be stored in. We take across Launch and Capture and we run it. The next thing that we need to do is go to the Image Magic and M Encoder settings and we need to click on the two links to download the two programs that this program needs. On Image Magic's website you have a choice of 64-bit and 32-bit installations but there is also a choice of a portable edition which doesn't install anything extra onto your computer. So for this demo purposes I've downloaded that version in advance. The other one that you need to download is mPlayer. If you click on this it will take you to the download page for that software. In this case I'm also going to just close this window uh, or oh, sorry cancel the download because I've already done it. Now that we've got those two downloads, we need to put them into the folder that we made for the captures. So we pick up the two files and we drag them over to the captures folder. In this case, I'm actually going to move them. We then right click, and I'm using WinRAR to do this, and extract the files for ImageMake and the same for mPlayer. You've now ended up with two extra folders where the software is installed. We delete the downloads just to make some space and clean up. The next thing is to go back to the program and tell it where we've put these things. So for Image Magic, you click on Browse for Folder and we know that we did it on this iDisk, My Captures, and there's the Image Magic folder. We choose it and we click OK. We do the same for mPlayer. Right. Now let's go back to some other settings. JPEG and Capture file names and paths. In here, we get to set where the pictures are being saved. We're going to be using the same folder, although you can choose something different. But inside my captures will be fine. It's going to automatically create another folder with the year and the date. And then inside that, it will create uh, all it will save, sorry, all the images and create another folder where it will store the movie. You can also put a prefix to these file names. In this case, I could say UK with a little bit of space. Now it's configured to where it's going to be saving its files. You can crop the image as well. You need to switch off full screen first and then you can edit the numbers and you can decide for example I could quickly say lose the top 128 pixels and lose the bottom uh, 67 pixels, we will say 700. So we're going to lose uh, the header and a little bit of the footer. The next thing is a date stamp. Here you get to choose which corner of the image the date stamp gets positioned. Southeast, meaning the bottom right corner. You get to choose also a position of where the text is placed. This position is relative to the border. So in other words, 027 means 27 pixels away from the bottom and 0 pixels away from the right. That's because it's on the southeast setting. 
If it were on the north, then it would be in the middle at the top of the screen. And these numbers will say how much it would come down rather than go up. The next option is the website that you're going to be recording. In this case, I'm going to be using Ingress as an example. You need a URL. So I'm going to take the link that it provides me here. The next thing that you need to do also is make sure that the web browser is in full screen as the next time the software starts opening it, it will need to be in full screen. Take the link and paste it into the program. Now, the delays settings allow you to control how long you wait for the page to load and also how long you wait again after the page is loaded and the picture has been taken until you do it again. These are the normal default settings. You're welcome to choose your own. So we have the JPEG paths, JPEG paths configured, some image cropping settings, where the software is installed. Here you also get to choose how many frames per second your video will be. I've tried it on 6 and it works quite well for a good time lapse, for a 24 hour time lapse that is. And you can also put a prefix to the name of the movie. It will just basically add today's date at the end of it, automatically. And every 24 hours, if you leave this program running, it will automatically create a video of the previous day. But if you want to convert a folder all by itself without waiting the 24 hours, you can click on this convert folder to movie and you can choose any folder that's got pictures and it will just convert it into a movie file manually. So now starting the record is quite simple. The first thing we're going to do is close down our Chrome browser. And we can also close down the actual windows that open here. I'm going to leave my captures open so that you see the actual folders being created. When you hit start recording, it will automatically open the browser and it will wait, in this case, 60 seconds for it to take the screenshot. It's now taken a copy of the image and saved it. To stop the software, you need to press Alt F2. Now, if we take a look at the folder here, we find that it saved one image and that we have a folder called movie and it has another image in there. The one inside movie has got the date stamp. So there we have it. As you can see it's missing a bit of the bottom and it's missing everything at the top. So that was our crop in action. The position of the date stamp needs to move moved probably a bit, probably a bit higher so that it's sort of clear of this menu or whatever you like basically so that was the mission and configuration of launch and capture thank you very much for watching take care